a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Welcome back to the vlog. It's 6 a.m. I'm really tired, but it's February 1st, and you know we have to start the month off with a sunrise. It's 42 degrees out. We're bundling up, chugging coconut water. I've got some warm tea to go. So let's go watch the world wake up. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone so I'm on my phone right now. But that was beautiful, as always. It always makes my day when I go to sunrise, so I'm really glad we got that in. It was a bit chilly, I will say, but it's okay, at least we got to get sun in our eyes, and I'm just so looking forward to the days that I get to do that and swim in the ocean again. Ugh, I crave it so bad. But now we're gonna head to the grocery store on the way back home and pick up some stuff for breakfast, for lunch and dinner today, because we are dried out on our fridge. There's like nothing. Yeah, so let's go do that, and I'll see you with my little haul at home. If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew We're back home Ziggy's trying to get into the groceries. This is the whole setup. So we'll start over here. We have our vegetables. So I'm thinking of doing like a big salad that I love from a restaurant around here, but I want to remake it at home. It has things like feta, beets, arugula, pickles, and then I'm going to do it with like ground beef and some other veggies tossed in, some cilantro. So that's kind of the vegetable situation for this week. And then we have two massive sweet potatoes. We have some frozen veggies. These are so good for like a stir fry with Asian seasoning. So yummy. Chips for chips and salsa and snacking chips and then I have my favorite yogurt egg whites chicken breast and beef for protein oh and we also got eggs obviously and then we got a ton of fruit I also picked up these these are really good in the air fryer butternut squash and then frozen fruit for smoothies and acai bowl pineapple lots of fresh seasonal fruits right now this is our kryptonite it is so good. And then this has been sold out for so long. I honestly think because of the pancake bowl recipe, but I finally was able to find it like two and a half weeks later. So I got two of those, almond milk, some drinks, and then some sweet treats. So that's our little haul. I'm gonna put it all away and then it's time to finally make coffee. So far, the morning has been spent right here on my little cozy couch, and let me walk you through what we did. Because I'm really trying to show you more of the behind the scenes of my work, even though to me it seems boring. I know maybe for some people it's interesting to see like what an actual work day looks like when you're doing social media and running your own companies. Honestly, a lot of it is sitting around on my phone or computer, but first we got my post up for the day. It's February 1st, so I always love to do like a little February 1st type of thing where I write some intentions or just something, I don't know, can you see that? Something to inspire people so I got that up then we got a Kaizos post up so we're doing a plank challenge on Kaizos which if you don't know it's our supplement brand we have a healthy hot cocoa mix and collagen right now but yeah we do like little community challenges so we got that one up then I got stories up so it's just been a lot of posting this morning and making graphics and now I'm gonna get a quick workout in I'm actually really sore from my past two days of workouts so I think I'm gonna do a very low impact Pilates flow on forum by Sammy Clark and I'm really excited because I haven't done one of these in a while. I know they're actually really challenging because Pilates is just a very different type of workout. It's like slow movements where you're holding and pulsing and stuff, which I'm used to weight training. So it is very difficult for me to slow down and do those type of movements. So I know it's gonna be hard, but I know it's also gonna be low impact and feel really good on my sore muscles. So we'll get into that. I'm gonna pull it up on my laptop and we'll get this started. Into it, go ahead and meet me in the... 
two, one, rest that leg for two, for eight, three, and bring it forward, four, feel that stretch in that leg, and one, bringing that hip, seven, have that hip just under for six, six, <laughs> two, right here, we pulse it up for eight, let the inner thighs do the work, raise it up, pulse, pulse, and switch, pulse, six, lift in, seven, my hair is crazy now, but wow, that was so good. Honestly, what was getting me through that is knowing as soon as I was done, I can go make a pancake bowl. Because we finally have pancake mix, so I'm gonna do that. It's been way too long without it. And I think I might make a version that's in the air fryer because when I posted the original microwave pancake bowl video, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link it in the description. But a lot of people's comments were like, I don't use microwaves, I hate using a microwave, blah, blah, blah. So, which like, I agree, it's probably not the best to use a microwave, but to each their own. But I want to try to make it in the air fryer for people that were saying, can you do like a baked or the air fried recipe? So maybe we'll do that. Let's go eat. She actually turned out really good. You have to be careful because the glass gets really, really hot, but she looks good. I'm gonna give her a try. This is the true test. It made it more golden on the top, like almost a baked muffin or something. Like. Look at that. It's like golden brown. First taste test of an air fried Lazy Girl pancake bowl. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's better than the microwave version. This tastes too good to be breakfast. It tastes for sure like you go into a bakery and ordering like a baked muffin thing. Definitely give this a try if you have an air fryer. goodness oh it's so cold but really really refreshing I can't wait for summer <laughs> the belly flop oh cartwheel queen Rosie would be the bottom, or you can, like, like you can right, move all your products, have them laid out. We're done with the sauna. We're so having our little finalized meeting before it goes live, and it's going live in two minutes. This is the boys' little back end work that's happening, and early access is about to go out. So, two minutes. Stressful time right now, but so excited. But, like, are all the sizes live? All right, it's live. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> Top location is Sydney. Look at the visitors right now. What the total? Like, what is the nose? party time! Oh. That was so exciting. Thank you to anybody who shopped or was a part of that drop day. Seeing all the support already and people tagging on Instagram and everything and just all the orders coming through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We cannot say thank you enough for supporting our small business. That was so exciting. Now we're getting packed up. I'm wearing the green underwire and then bringing the bandeau and we're gonna go to the beach 
and shoot a little bit in the daytime because we haven't really got any like blue sky pictures they're always sunrise or sunset and we're also going to go to formula fresh and maybe get like a fun little snack or drink at a beach bar so it's going to be a beach day even though it's kind of chilly so we are geared up and hopefully it won't be windy and we'll just get some sun <laughs> decided to get Thai food in tonight, so we just got it delivered. There's everything set up. We got literally so much and so many random combinations of things. But I got green curry and then there's like a lot of different sides to choose from. So we're gonna set this all up with plates and go. <laughs> what? I just, I Are you okay? And I did this and I felt it launch. <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm in the coziest outfit right now. It's the next morning after drop day and I think I'm gonna take you guys for one more day of this vlog. I'm going into the gym today so I've just been sipping coffee, editing a little bit and now I'm gonna go get ready, get a little outfit on and we'll head to the gym. I'm really hoping it's not crowded but it's a Saturday morning at like nine o'clock so it's probably gonna be wild. We'll see what I can record. I'm very excited so let's go get ready. I think we're gonna go with these leggings, this sports bra and then my APLs. And I'm gonna go make a pre-workout cocktail, chug it down and and we'll drive to the gym. The gym was amazing today. And now we rushed home to make a quick pancake bowl before I run errands. This one is with pear frozen blueberries and all the goodies and it is a big one today. I need to get a rug and I need to get some like decor for our office and our bedroom because it's kind of plain right now. So we're gonna stop at Home Goods and we're gonna stop at Marshall's and just browse, just see what's in there. I feel like it's always a hit or miss here. So I'm crossing my fingers that we find some good stuff. Lucas met me here and we ended up going a little bit crazy. But you guys, I'm not kidding. I've never had this good of luck at Home Goods. Everything was beautiful. And that rarely happens at our small Home Goods here. So I'll definitely have to do a haul when we get home. But oh, oh my gosh. This is your sign to go check out Home Goods wherever you are right now because it was perfect. Just popping. Okay, a shower thing that you hang on the back of your door. This, I really needed a tiny little sleek table to put next to the couch on my corner in the morning when I'm drinking my coffee because I have nowhere to put my coffee. And I just want something that I can like set right next to me when I'm sipping my coffee in the morning. So I think this will look really good on the edge of the couch. I got this piece for my bedside table. This is for more of those pompas plants. We just needed one more skinny pot. And I thought that was really pretty. It's like a cream, so it's not straight white, but gorgeous. Just like that. 
We wanted a nicer glass jug whenever Lucas uses the fresh orange juice maker to put juice in, so I got this. I love to have fresh flowers. I prefer fresh over fake any day, but whenever we are like having guests over or just doing something at our house and I haven't got the chance to go get fresh flowers yet, I wanted a backup. And I thought that this throughout any season would always look pretty in here. It's like white fake tulips. Like that looks so pretty. This package is boring, but it's just a bunch of towels. Lucas is gonna get mad about these, but I love organization. What is, what is that? Is that beautiful? That is going straight back. No, I love that. I finally got Ziggy J a lifted bowl holder. These are organization for the kitchen. Okay, we were in desperate need of placemats and we do have some from the old house, but they don't really fit the roundness of our new table. And then the last thing from HomeGuards is this bin to put in my guest room. This is gonna be where I keep all of my honey bikinis that aren't the current collection. I think my plan is when we have a current collection, they're gonna be hanging up so I can always grab from there. But on my previous collections, I wanted a place to store them too that's so cute and not just thrown in a random drawer. So they're all gonna go in here. Then from Target, they were in need of some new pillows for our bed. This is what I went with. Okay, this is gonna be like the smaller ones in front. I don't know if you can see the texture on there. Bigger, like really fluffy ones in the back. They were such good quality and I haven't seen a store do them this big yet. Um, for actual beds, like I've seen like couch pillows obviously, but for beds, I thought that these were amazing. And then I also picked up this quilt blanket. I love the look of these to like throw on a bed and I think that's gonna match so well. It's a good like off-white cream color. Also got a mirror and a rug. Kind of a cream one to go underneath our bed and then the big mirror is over here. But yeah, I would say it was a pretty hefty but successful haul. Now we're gonna spend the next couple hours putting everything away and figuring out what we wanna return, what we wanna keep. I'll keep you posted whatever we do next. Everything's all put away and we're making dinner. We're doing sweet potato fries that I'm putting in the air fryer right now. Just a little bit of olive oil and sea salt. And then I think I'm gonna make this remake of an arugula salad that I get from a restaurant around here that I love. I've been craving it nonstop. And chips and salsa. So the potatoes are almost done. We added some normal potatoes in there too. And then this is some more vegetables that are about to go in. We've got some pomegranate and pickles to put on top of the salad. And then I'm gonna mix all of these together. So we have dairy-free feta, some beets, that's the pickles we order, and then kimchi. And it's all gonna go on top of this little salad mixture. I use tortilla chips as croutons. And then over here, we've got our chicken going. And then I can't forget, we're gonna do avocado. Oh, it's perfect. Cilantro. And then for the dressing, I'm just doing a little drizzle of olive oil and lemon juice, and then a little sprinkle of salt. It's very basic, but it actually does the trick because everything else on there is so flavorful. This is basically the closest thing to still living in LA and going to Sweet Green every day, which was like my favorite salad restaurant. Just a big old nourishing salad mixed with everything. You've got a plate of fries and ketchup to share. We're gonna sit down with probably a little show or movie and eat this and just chill for a little bit. <laughs> if nobody's told you yet to add salt to your water, I'm telling you now, this kind specifically. I almost forgot my college mm. I'm getting a graphic made for our Kaisers post today. Wow, I'm so tired. But it's kind of cute, look. I'm definitely no graphic designer, but we can work with it. So I just took this picture last night on our countertop and I'm kind of just putting the ingredients that are in it to kind of give people a visual instead of just a boring picture. In spring. Okay, my phone's probably about to fog up in a second, but we're sitting in the sauna just for a quick 15, 20 minutes. Oh gosh, my necklace is already getting really hot. I need to take this off. But I don't have too much time because I have a call with mm, a potential manager, which is crazy. I'll talk more about that later. But I've been thinking about it for a while and a few of my friends that I trust and know have recently also signed and they're having a really positive experience. So I'm just gonna chat with them today and see what it looks like and what it entails, but you never know. Anyways, we're gonna sit in here and roast, do a quick shower, and then jump on that call. Okay, we're all showered. 
I didn't wash my hair because we're gonna do an everything shower tomorrow, but at least we got a body scrub and I feel really good now. I am getting ready to hop on this meeting. It's in about 15 minutes, but you guys can see I'm working in our kitchen right now and that's because we're still building up the office. So I'm currently browsing some desk ideas. I wanna show you and get y'all's opinion. I'm looking at Rove. Rove has so many cool options for furniture, but specifically their desks really stand out to me. So I want a standing one because I wanna be able to put my treadmill under and work. And I think this one is so pretty. It comes in different colors, but I think I would do this color and then it goes up. So that's option one. But then I also love the vibe of this sleek one. I just wouldn't be able to stand up and work at it. It would have to be a sitting down one, which like that looks so stunning to me. I could get this one and then get another stand up one to put in the garage gym to walk on the treadmill maybe. I don't know. Let me know y'all's thoughts because I'm very torn, but they're both gorgeous. And then for chairs, I'm thinking that one is the one that would match the best with our office. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Oh, there it is. Gorgeous. For now, I'm gonna keep browsing and scrolling on Pinterest until this meeting starts. We'll do the meeting. And then I guess I gotta decide if I wanna stick with it or not, like stick with the manager. I'll keep you guys updated. For breakfast, we made the pancake bowl and that meeting went so good. I'm really excited. I think I am gonna end up signing with management. Mm. never get shells here, so this is exciting. Oh, 